In this example, we can set the constraint that will be passed to the get user media. Let's leave this as default and focus on the statistics. So, let's click get media and then connect. What this application does is that it gets the local media devices streams and sets them to the video element at the left. Then, when we click the connect button, the local streams are sent to the video element at the right through an RTC peer connection. While this has no practical applications in the real world, it allows us to get into the details of an RTC peer connection without having to set up a signaling server. The first thing you should notice here is the bitrate and the connected to values below the remote video. These are calculated using the values provided by the GetStats API. And below we can see those raw values. So now let's take a look at the code to see what's happening under the hood. We're going to scroll down and we're going to click on View Search on GitHub. So, all the magic is happening in the JavaScript files. So, let's open it. The first step is getting the local media. So, we will look at this function. Get media. Here we see a typical call to get user media. Nothing too fancy. And after it gets the streams, it assigns them to a global variable and to the local video element. Now let's look for the peer connection creation. Create. Okay, here it is. The next step is create the peer connection objects. As both of them are in the same page, they can exchange the messages directly. So here we see a simplified version of what we did in the previous chapter, but it's basically the same. So far, there's nothing new, but the things get more interesting after creating the peer connection. Let's look for that function. So, here the getStats API is called for both peer connections object. And here we have the correspondent handlers. For the local video, we can see that it simply prints the raw results without any further processing. On the other hand, for the remote connection, which is the one that is receiving streams, while it also shows the raw statistics, it also makes some processing with them. First, it gets the received video streams, represented by the inbound RTP report of media type video. Then it calculates the bitrate and it set it to the div element. Then it search for the transport or candidate pair report to get the remote candidate IP through which the connection is made. So in this way you can take a look at the information about the connection and according to that perform the task that a specific scenario will require. Besides get stats, there's another way for you to get this information without needing to write any code. But before that, why don't you clone this example and play around with it? In particular, why don't you see if you can get what codecs are used in the audio and video streams and print them along the bitrate? and the IP address. Quick hint, take a look at the inbound RTP report and see what information you can get from there. Pay special attention to track and codec information. So, give it a shot and when you're done, move to the next lesson.